Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning we're going to explore the browser a little bit in the context of test-driven development. What I'm going to do is create a new method called cubed. It doesn't exist for any of the arithmetic stuff, so I'll go ahead and create it. But first I'll create a test. So to get started, kind of an odd thing about the browser, before I can create a category, I have to actually select one. Kind of a weird thing, but that's just the way it is. Now I can right-click and add a category, and I'll call this arithmetic extensions. And we'll go ahead and create a new class down here. What we're going to do is call this a subclass of test case. And notice once I start spelling it correctly, it highlighted that for me. And I'll call this arithmetic test. The idea being that presumably I would have more than just cube, but let's go with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a new category over here called tests or testing. And now I'll go ahead and add my method test cubed. And for testing, I need to do this self assert and now I have to have a boolean condition so I'm going to assert that 3 cubed equals and I'll add another parentheses notice how it completed the parentheses for me by the way times 3 times 3 the idea being I don't have to terminate the parentheses it automatically added them for me so I get out of that whole problem now I'll accept that and I'm going to put in my initials and now it's going to ask me to categorize this selector cubed. I'm just going to say, go ahead and leave it as cubed. It's warning me that this thing isn't implemented, and it thinks maybe I mistyped. But I'll go ahead and say cubed, because I want to add this new method. Now I've done that, let's go ahead and right-click. Notice one of the options now is Run Tests. And I could have done that over on the class side, too. And it's immediately going to blow up, because it says, hey, no such method in the system, which it already warned me about. But I'm going to go ahead and create it. Notice what this does. It keeps me in the debugger. I'm going to implement it in number. And I'm going to provide a new category called arithmetic. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. I can see what's going on here. It's telling me I should implement this method. So let's go ahead and answer self time self time self. Now this should work for any number in the system. So now let's go ahead and compile that method. And now that I've compiled that, let's go ahead and proceed it. And now let's run the test again. So let's go here, run tests. And notice the little green dot there, one from red to green, because I wrote my test, it failed, I was able to have the browser create the method for me, I filled in the real code, now my test passed. So everything's working as I expected, I've added new functionality to the system, and more importantly, I've been able to test it first, and I've done this all within the context of this one browser, with the debugger popping up to assist me. And that's kind of how test-driven development works in Smalltalk, it's pretty cool. So, it's better for today. Until next time. Have fun with whatever small talk you're using.